Hey, it was a great week for Bison Wrestling. Head coach Roger Kish is here with us, and we're celebrating a 23 to 14 dual win over Air Force. And that had to feel good for the guys to come out and get a win like that. It was. It was important that uh, we haven't been home here in a long time. So to be able to come home in, in the, you know, the first competition we had here in Fargo in the last six, seven weeks and, and to be able to come out and, and perform well, uh, really, you know, it was really, really nice to see our young guys get excited, motivated and, uh, and do well. How about Hayden Zilmer? So 98th career win, 11th all time. He's starting to creep up those charts and he just continues to plug along, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, uh, he can't say enough about the kid and his, his work ethic and discipline and uh, you know, we, we've made some adjustments uh, in, his, in his training here a little bit, and, and he's really just really taken and ran with it. And uh, you're just seeing his, his, his energy and excitement out there on the match really pick up. And, and you can't ask for anything more than, you know, for, for a guy like that to, to have this kind of success. Kudos at 165 to Grant Nearing, just a sophomore, beat a very good kid in this Air Force duel. Yeah, yeah, he... Uh, he came out, we had a nice game plan, and, and, and he executed well. And, uh, you know, he, he, he stayed aggressive, stayed attacking, and, and wrestled a full seven minutes. And, uh, you know, again, he was another kid that we, we made some adjustments to. We started the season out at 157 and just saw him struggling a little bit with, mm -hmm. with the, the, the weight cut and, 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 and be able to have a, a full week of, of training. And uh, now that we made this adjustment, he's just really taken it and, and done such a nice job and, and really growing in and, and being confident uh, at 165. Here in the new year, too, at uh, 285, Ben Tynan's doing well, isn't he? Five and one in duels. Yeah, he really, he's, uh, he's really done a nice job for us, and uh, he's going to continue to get better. Again, you know, he's uh, coming, coming from uh, a junior college out, out, uh, out west, and uh, to come in, and, and this is a long season and a long grind for, for him who hasn't had this kind of experience. But, uh, you know, I, I think every time, uh, every time he steps out on the mat, he wants to win. He has that excitement, and... Uh, yeah, he's done really a nice job. And his only dual loss is to a really good kid, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, his only Virginia Tech. loss. Yeah, yep. Ty Wall's out at Virginia Tech. And, it's uh, impressive. Yeah, really done a nice job. How about Wyoming? Uh, they're coming up this week. Uh, it's a yeah. Sunday duel here at the BBF. Uh, they're 1-3 and three in Big 12 duels, but they're, they're in the middle of that full Big 12 schedule, sure. so they've had a tough schedule. They mm -hmm. did beat Boise 33-6. Mm -hmm. to six. Give us a capsule of the Cowboys as they come in here Sunday. They're going to be a, a tough team. They're going to be they're going to be wrestling hard. They're going to be well coached. Yeah. Um, you know uh, the coaches out there and, and the kids out there do a nice job and compete hard and and, and uh, they're going to come out to wrestle to win. You know I think we have a nice rivalry between us yeah. and Wyoming. Um, probably sharing uh, the old uh, Western Wrestling Conference titles over the last uh, you know handful of years and, and really battling back and forth. Um, so we've really we've really built a nice rivalry between the two programs and, and um, you know when you bring that kind of excitement to town you're you're gonna you're gonna have a good good duel. Also, what do you see from them when you really look at them? They get, went against Oklahoma State. They were close against Iowa State, uh, mm -hmm. and as I mentioned, they did beat Boise State. Sure. So they've they've been in some competitive matches, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. They're uh, like I said, they're going to be a hard a hard nosed team. They're mm -hmm. going to fight hard, and uh, that's uh, you know really uh, what what they do well. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to be expecting to come in and, and have a great match with them. We're going to have 10, uh, 10 solid matches. You could probably hit a couple notes uh, on a couple of uh, individual matches. Maybe uh, 125 will be probably a highlighted yeah. match. Uh, those two met up in Reno. And, and uh, I want to say Josh, uh, Josh has only lost here in the new year or at least in the last probably uh, yeah. six weeks or so. So I think he'll, uh, he'll be excited to get back on the mat uh, with, with uh, Wyoming. And, and, and there will be a few other probably marquee matchups along the way as well. What's the practice regime like for you guys in the room this time of year? It's kind of the dog days of the season right That's now. Right. You have some physical duels. Yep. Guys get dinged up a little bit. Do you go hard? Uh, do you lay back this week? What's a week like uh, for the Bison wrestling team this week when you have a duel on a Friday and not again till the following Sunday? You know, that's, uh, that's a good question. And uh, a lot of it really, really depends on, on where our guys are physically, yeah. mentally, how, how we're feeling. Um, you know, so it, it varies from week to week. Yep. And, and as far as our, our training goes, we, we have a nice regimen put in place and a, mm -hmm. a nice cycle that, that we're, we're on right now. And uh, again, we try to keep in mind that every dual meet is important. And, and as we do that, we try to, to really build our guys into, into uh, where they need to be 
come March, Big 12 championships, NCAA right. championships. So that, at the end of the day, we really focus on the big picture. And, and, and as we as we continue to build our, our training cycles uh, around dual meets, we, we still got to keep uh, keep in mind that that what we have right in front of us, but the big picture overall too. So we, uh, we it's kind of a delicate balance there, yeah. and, and each kid's a little different. So we try to do some different things with with different individuals, but uh, all in all, we we stay a pretty uh, pretty pretty strong uh, work week still uh, right now.